Hello again. So in my last video, the, the what if uh, video, a lot of you noticed that I was drinking out of a cup which said Tim Tam. And those of you who are Australians or have visited Australia will know about this particular product. The Tim Tam is the most delicious biscuit you will ever try. And no, this isn't some sort of paid product placement advertisement thing, although but if someone from Arnott's is out there and want to send me a lifetime supply of these things for advertising them on YouTube, you know where to find me. Now, Tim Tams is one of those things that every Australian knows about and loves and has loved from childhood. It's one of those things that every Australian will tell a foreigner about. Tim Tams is one of those Vegemite type things. Something everyone has to try once. And unlike Vegemite, if you try Tim Tams just once, you will want more of these because, as many of us are aware, if you try Vegemite just once, chances are you're going to go, oh, God! Is this a joke? But these things, these things are different. They're like the most delicious biscuit ever created. But there's a problem, and it's a big problem. Now, somebody in their infinite wisdom decided that the best number to sell these things in is in packs of 11. Why is a pack of 11 delicious biscuits a problem? 11 is a friggin prime number. There is no way to share these damn things equally unless there is one person or 11 people. I mean, when you eat these things it's usually with your significant other, you know, a few Tim Tams over a nice cup of Milo, and I'll get to Milo in a second. Or in, or in a family, you got mum, dad, and a couple of kids maybe. It's impossible to share one pack of Tim Tams equally. It's friggin' torture. Somebody's gonna miss out. and Somebody's gonna have more than the other person, and somebody's gonna get a little secretly jealous because they're so damn delicious, nobody wants to be the person who says, oh no, you have the last one, it's alright. Everybody wants the last one because they're freaking delicious. It's like an orgasm in your mouth without the salty aftertaste. So while they may be the most delicious biscuit on the face of the planet, they are also a tool of the devil. Because there's always going to be a fight over the last one. And if there isn't a fight over the last one, someone's going to feel secretly angry. And they're going to repress that rage right down until one day... They'll explode in a massive Pompeii-sized eruption of absolute fury for having to give up the last Tim Tam time and time again! Now Milo. Milo is the Tim Tam's best friend. Milo is... Well, it's marketed as an energy food drink these days. What it basically is, is a kind of multi kind of drink stuff. It's sold in powder. And you prepare it much like you prepare um, instant coffee. Put a couple of teaspoons of this in a mug, add some hot water, splash of milk, stir it all up, and it's delicious. A lot of Aussie kids grow up drinking this stuff too. It's kind of somewhere between uh, hot chocolate and, um, uh, what would you guys have? Uh, Ovaltine? It's good. The Tim Tam and Milo. Best friends forever. And I'm going to show you why. So what you do is you get your... Mug of nice warm Milo. And you get yourself a Tim Tam. Bite off one corner. Swing it around. And you bite off the other corner. Then you put one bitten end into your drink. And you suck it through the other bitten end like a straw. And what happens is the warm Milo gets pulled up through the biscuit and everything melts from the inside out. Um. <laughs> Damn, that's good! In fact, it's so good, the parts of your brain responsible for the pleasure response may, in fact, implode and create an entirely new dimension. A dimension where nothing but pleasure exists. 
Now here comes the fun part. The Tim Tams happened to be on special when I bought the pack to make this video. So I bought a second pack. Also picked up a spare tin of Milo. And I'm going to send these out to one person who's watching. Hopefully an American or you know someone from England or someone, someone who can't actually get these things where they're from so they can experience them for the first time. And upon trying these two products, particularly together, their heads will explode with delight. And I apologize in advance because you can't share them with anybody equally. It's not my fault they come in packs of 11, which is a prime number, you stupid, stupid biscuit company! I was trying to figure out a way to, to award these as a, as a prize or something like that. And I figured out something fun. Something that also feeds my enormous ego. What I want you to do, and you've got a week to do this, is create a, a little fake advertisement for a Blunty 3000 themed product. Don't care what it is. You know, it could be something as mundane as a Blunty t-shirt or a clothing line. Or it could be something a little more original, like a Blunty marital aid. Any product. Use your imaginations. The one that makes me laugh the hardest is going to win back at Tim Tams, Tin of Milo. And trust me, they're worth working for. Rules are very simple. The one I think is the funniest or the cleverest wins. Um, oh, and keep them 30 seconds in length. 30 seconds exactly. Because that's you know, average length of a video advertisement, I guess. Yeah, so make it. Add it as a video response here. So one week from when this video goes up, I'll pick a winner, send you a message, send me your postal address, and I'll send you these. And I take no responsibility if you happen to have a spontaneous orgasm when consuming these products together. Because it's possible, if not probable. Catch you next time. Mm. Yeah. That's pleasant. <laughs>